social worker who carried out a string of sex attacks on youngsters at a children's home has been jailed for 20 years. Earlier this week, Andres Logans was found guilty of indecently assaulting and raping young girls and boys at the former Beechwood Care Home in Nottingham. Well, today, Logans was sentenced at Nottingham Crown Court. Our correspondent, Phil Brewster, who's been following the trial, joins us now. Um, and Phil, presumably, it was very emotional today in court. Indeed it was, Sam. There were tears in the public gallery as the sentence was handed out today. Two of Logan's victims were also in court, sat behind a screen to witness themselves. A man who'd inflicted so much pain and misery on them 30 years ago finally paid for his crimes. Well, it's now two days since the jury at Nottingham Crown Court found Andrews Logan's unanimously guilty of 17 sex offences, including four rapes, 12 indecent assaults and one count of child cruelty. In the early 1980s, the 57-year-old was a resident social worker at the former Beechwood Children's Home in Mapley. During his trial, it emerged that he's used his position to develop a rapport with young boys and girls before going on to sexually assault them in bedrooms, a shower room, and on one occasion even on a day trip to the country. Well, today, Loggins was jailed for a total of 20 years. He'll have to serve a minimum of 10 years before he's eligible for parole. Afterwards, detectives welcomed the verdict said that no punishment could truly make up for the pain and misery suffered by Logan's victims. There they were, sort of 9, 10, 11 years old, being brought into care, being taken away from abusive situations they were in, thinking, at last I'm in a place of safety, I'm going to be looked after, and they've gone into a hornet's nest of abuse, both physically and emotionally, that's blighted their whole lives. Phil, what did the judge have to say about Logan's? Well, Sam, the judge, James Samson, was extremely scathing in his remarks, telling Logan that what he'd done had amounted to a grave breach of trust. He said he'd taken advantage of the helpless situation in which these children had found themselves. Placing Logan's on the sex offenders' register for life, he also made an order barring Logan's from any future contact with a child under 16 unless supervised by a guardian or a parent. He then finished by telling Logan's, you befriended them, groom them and then sexually abuse them. What should have been a safe haven was in fact a home from hell. Now while he was working at Beechwood Children's Home, Andrews and Logans was employed by Nottinghamshire County Council. While well, following Monday's guilty verdict, the leader of the council apologised, admitting that children in their, their care should have been protected but were not. Well today Alan Rhodes issued another statement in which he told us, I welcome this lengthy custodial sentence for a man who blatantly betrayed his position of trust with vulnerable children. He then went on to say, I applaud the victims for their bravery, courage and persistence. The outcome in this case is proof that victims will be listened to and believed. While well, following that, Nottinghamshire County Council have confirmed that tomorrow morning Alan Rhodes will make another formal statement ahead of a full council meeting in which we're told he will make a full and unreserved apology to those children the council failed to protect in its care. Other news tonight, a former social worker has been jailed for 20 years for sex attacks on children at the home where he worked in Nottingham. The judge said Anders Logans took advantage of powerless girls and boys in a grave breach of trust. Logans is the first carer to be convicted after a major police inquiry into historical abuse at children's homes. The police say more arrests will follow. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. A serial child abuser filmed for a police ID parade. Andrews Logans wasn't arrested for more than 30 years, but this face was so etched on his victims' memories that they picked him out immediately. <laughs> Today, at the end of the court case, raw emotion as child abuse campaigners saw Logans sentenced to 20 years in prison. Absolutely elated that these are now being brought to justice and that they're getting to the terms that they deserve. 20 years uh, is, is a good sentence for the, the crimes that this man's committed uh, and it does give some confidence to survivors that other survivors to come forward. Logan's repeatedly raped and indecently assaulted two girls at the Beechwood Children's Home in Mapley. He's also been convicted of sex attacks and cruelty against two 14-year-old boys. You live with it day in, day out. Two victims spoke out after his conviction on Monday. Today, the court heard victim impact statements about how they're still suffering emotional trauma. 
Sentencing Logan's Judge James Sampson said, you took advantage of vulnerable children, you befriended them, groomed them, and sexually abused them, and they were powerless to do anything about it. And what should have been a safe haven, he said, was a home from hell. Logan's exploited a brutal regime that made his victims too scared to report him. And when he was finally arrested, he tried to blame them for making it up. The way in which they're describing is the person who has raped them, sexual assault them, is the same person. And they're saying it's Andrew Logan. My position, obviously, they uh, must have conspired in some way. Well, he's shown not one jot of remorse. Everything that he's done has been to yeah. undermine the victims, undermine their credibility. Even yeah. after 30 years, they were still traumatised to see his face. Is Andrew Slogan is just the tip of the iceberg? We've got a lot of operational activity going on behind the scenes. More arrests will follow inevitably. <laughs> Tonight, Logan has been put on the sex offenders register, and when he's served his prison sentence, he'll be barred from working with children. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Nottingham. Earlier, I spoke to Nottinghamshire's Police and Crime Commissioner, Paddy Tipping. I asked him how significant the conviction of Andrew Slogan is. It's a really significant... Uh, conviction with a long sentence. I know the survivors will be delighted. Uh, there are more than 200 uh, survivors and more than 400 people who have been investigated. So I'm very hopeful that uh, this case sets a precedent and will take other people to justice and to give people fairness and put an end to the story. Now, you used to visit Beechwood as part of your work as a children's social worker at the time. In court, the judge described this as a brutal regime. Did you notice anything on your visits? Uh, I didn't uh, notice it was a brutal regime. It was a re regimented regime. It was a regime that was run by many people who have been in the forces. I was very uncomfortable with it. Nobody made allegations of... Uh, physical or sexual assault to me, but I came to the opinion very quickly that residential care like this wasn't in the best interest of people, and I moved away to uh, work with children who were adopted and fostered, who I thought would get a better uh, experience in care than in a strict regime of residential care. So in the light of this case, what lessons do you think have been learned and must be learned? Well, the County Council have made an apology, that's the first thing. Secondly, the quality of care is much better. Thirdly, people now are professionally qualified. But most importantly, and vitally, we have a case here, something going back 40 years, where somebody's brought to justice, and everyone will rejoice, and everyone will celebrate. Paddy Tipping, thank you. Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org.